Hello world and welcome to Jimmy's Thoughts. I'm your host, Jimmy, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about cheating. Um, before we can really start talking about cheating, we need to understand what cheating is. Uh, one thing we can do is go um, online or go to a dictionary or a book or something like that and look up a definition of what cheating is. And that's a valuable exercise. Feel free to do that if you'd like. Um, however, if I'm doing, I, I have my own definition. And uh, I'm going to share that on the screen right now. If I'm doing this right, you are now seeing a slide of my definition of cheating. And basically, um, cheating is breaking the rules, violating the spirit, or violating the community expectation about the rules and spirit of the rules um, in order to gain a significant advantage or and or to ruin the fun for others. Now, um, we can talk about this sort of thing um, in the context of the larger world or other games, but really what we're interested in right now is Minecraft. Um, especially Gerander's single player because he's going to he, he wants to do a couple of things that he considers aren't cheating but some people do and so understanding these three aspects um the violating the or breaking the rules of violating the spirit of the rules or violating community expectations um will help give us different different definitions and why people get upset okay so i'm going to switch over to another world just so we can see what's going on so in in the context of minecraft if we go to a single player and we create a new world. What are the rules of this game? So that, I want you to take a moment to think about it. What are the rules of this game? Um, the rules of a computer game are the programming. Does that make sense? So the rules are hard written into the programming of this game. Also note that the spirit of the rules, what the creators intended, are kind of hardwired in too, but not all the time. So if we look at this uh, create new world, we don't have a seed or anything like this, but we have a couple of options right here. We've got a choice of different types of worlds. We have a choice of structures on or off. We have a choice of ch um, allowing cheats, and we have a choice of bonus chest. And there may be some others too, but this will give you a start to start thinking about this thing. When we're doing a single player world, we have this option called bonus chest, and some people consider bonus chest cheating. But I'm going to ask you this, which of those three does it break? Does it break any rules? No, this is a legitimate option right at the beginning of the game. This is some, also it doesn't break the spirit of the game because the programmers actually put this button here. This is vanilla Minecraft. There's nothing special about this, right? So they intended us to have this option. So a bonus chest technically is not cheating by breaking the rules or by violating the spirit of rules. However, community consensus about bonus chests, especially the YouTube community, says that these are a no-no. So this is cheating in 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 the in the idea of violating community expectations. However, does in a single player room, or if single player world, does it give a significant advantage or does it ruin the fun for others? Again, I would say not really. So using a bonus chest um, violates community expectations, but it's not a significant advantage because really what do you get in a chest, right? Same thing with cheats. Let's talk about cheats for just a moment. They're called cheats, but are they really cheating? Again, they are programmed in. These are a legitimate option that the creators of the game expected us or are, are offering us. So if this is fun for you, turn cheats on. Um, Gerander brought up the idea that if these cheats were named something different, would they be, have the same idea? If they were called magic spells, on or off? Would, they still, would it still have the uproar when people use them? I don't know, and it, we may never know. So, let's create our new world. And I'm going to turn these things on. Because in a single player world, there's no significant advantage to um, a, a, a starter chest. There is a significant advantage to um, cheats, or magic spells, if you will. So, that's the question. Um, significant advantage for what? We also have creative mode in this in this game, right? So how is that different than having cheats on in a survival game? Community expectations. That's pretty much it. But if you're not doing YouTube, if you're not, um, if you're not, you, you, what is your community then, right? You're not gaining a significant advantage over other people. You're not ruining the fun for other people. So if this is fun for you, having cheats on, having a starter chest, then I say, go for it, right? Why not? Ooh, so, I have cheats on, oh. And I have a starter chest, and if this is fun for me in single player, then why not do it, right? I would say this is not cheating, 
right? However, I'm going to switch to um, the Geek Squad server, and I'll be right back. Hello world, Jimmy here, and here we are are on the Geek Squad server. The Geek Squad server is a Patreon server of Logical Geek Boy. And Jerander likes to play up here, um, up here on the server that is, or over here on the server, depending on how you want to look at it. And But right now we're at the top of his nether stair. And Jerander spent a lot of time and effort to break this huge hole in the nether roof using dragon eggs. The question is, was that cheating? Um, so the rules actually allow this, right? The programming allows this to happen. If the programming didn't allow this to happen, it wouldn't ever happen. However, we do know that the spirit of the rules is for us to not be up here. So breaking a hole in the nether roof is is not cheating via the game mechanics. However, it is cheating via breaking the or violating the spirit of the rules. Also note that it is very community acceptable to ha to be up here and to break holes in the roof. In fact, Jerander got commissions for people from other people to break holes for him for them. Um, so there's two out of the three there, right? So the rules allow it, the spirit says no, but the community says yes. So is this cheating? I'll let you decide. Um, also note duplication, especially on servers. Duplication is allowed by the programming, but it is against the, the spirit of the rules. Um, that one is a little bit more gray. Some people are for duplication, some people are against duplication. Um, so that's something to think about as well, especially when you're on a server. Again, if you're in a solo play world, single player world, do what is fun for you. If you want to duplicate thousands of rails so that you can um, have minecarts running all over the place, your choice. If you want to uh, break bedrock in the roof and the floor of the nether, feel free to do so. If you're doing a multiplayer though, like here on the Geek Squad server, then pay attention to the rules um, and the community expectations and do what you think is appropriate. So moving on to data packs, because also um, here on the server, we have data packs going on and data packs are, are special little changes to the rules as written. They change the programming in such a way to allow certain other things to happen. So we're going to go outside to the World Wide Web. We'll see you in a little bit. Hello everyone, and here we are on the World Wide Web, and we are at Zoomavoid's um, website, uh, zoomavoid.com, and Zoomavoid is a YouTuber who plays on the Hermitcraft server, and uh, I'm going to, the reason I'm here is because there's something that we want to do. We want to talk about data packs, and data packs, I've been told, are 100% vanilla, and in case you didn't see what I just did there, I went down to Zoomavoid's um, link, it says vanilla tweaks. Um, these are data packs are what I've been told, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, but the recent, most recent um, version of Minecraft was written to allow for easy changing of some of the rules. And that's what data packs are. They're small changes in the rules that allow the game to play in slightly different ways. Um, in particular, uh, there's, yeah, Zoomavoid has all these data packs in here. There's a large number of them. And the ones that really interest me and really interest Gerander is this one right here. Um, Gerander has made it very clear that he hates Enderman griefing. And so there's this data pack right here on Zoomavoid's website that is anti-Enderman griefing. And I'm going to show you what to do with it. And so I don't, I'm going to show you what to do with it. Also note that um, data packs, if they are 100% vanilla, um, they're not cheating, but also, do they violate the rules? Not really, they change the rules, but is that violation of the rules? Do they violate the, the, the spirit of the rules? Oh, I would say definitely not. If the game has been programmed in a way to make these, um, these data packs easy to install, then definitely not violate the rule, or the spirit of the rules. Do they violate community and expectations? That depends on the community you're playing with. If you're on a server and data packs are a no-no, then data packs violate the community expectations. That makes sense? So, um, I'm now going to download this one, and I'm going to save this one to my download um, folder. And I'll show you what to do with this next. Okay, everyone, we're back in Minecraft, and we're going to open Gerander's world. We're going to select Gerandolandia, and we're going to edit Gerandolandia. And what we need to do is open world folder. Click on this, and we get this little dialog. We have a folder here called Data Packs. What we need to do is to drag the Data Pack from the Downloads folder into here. So I'm going to open this up like this. Data Packs are in the Downloads. 
anti-endermine griefing. Pull that in. That should do what we need to do. So, let's save it. Then let's open it up. Okay, everyone. Here we are in Geranderlandia. And uh, to show you what's going on here, um, just to show you that the data pack is installed, I'm going to use a command called data, oop, data pack list. And it shows you right down below that, or right in the green text, it says vanilla and file anti enderman griefing. The zip are, um, those are loaded. Those are enabled. So there we go. Um, the other thing to think about is that um, not the other thing that really drives Geranda crazy is um, fire spread. He doesn't like fires. Um, so there is a command that we can use, and this is probably why he enabled cheats initially. It's called um, game rule. Then there's some options here. Do, fire, tick. And he's and I'm going to set it to false. Oop, I mistel mistyped that. Let me try it again. Game rule. Do, fire, tick, false. Now, what this means is that fires won't spread. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, lightning won't start fires, fires won't spread, but fires will still damage um, entities and will still destroy destroy um, entities. So, there you go. Um, so, with these two things done, I think Gerander will be much happier in here. And because this is a single player world, um, I don't consider this cheating. This is just going to increase his enjoyment. So, um, but as always, let me know what you think or let Gerander know what you think. Um, if you think this is cheating, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on cheating in general. Do you agree with my definition? Are some of the things I talked about actually cheating? Are they exploits or are they just um, no-nos? So, please share your thoughts. So, thank you for watching. This, I've been Jimmy, and uh, th thank you for letting me share my thoughts. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.